And welcome, Yaro. And please introduce yourself. Thank you very much. Um, Yaro Starak, um, your style therapist, working in Brisbane, Australia. I'm pleased to be part of this um, exhibition in October and the Picasso exhibition. I've been all my life uh, interested in art but not involved very much uh, because I was more a psychologist, a gestalt therapist and have been teaching at university mm -hmm. and therefore my idea of art was like it's somebody else's thing and uh, until I began to be involved in um, art therapy, which is our studio, our work, and the art therapy brought me the union of psychology and art together, and I began to understand the importance of uh, using art tools in, in therapy with clients. Mm -hmm. And that really interested me a lot. And then I began to take classes in art and uh, became very interested in uh, um, canvas, in acrylic. And this is what I was quite interested in. I can in, see. In you know <laughs> and it was very interesting. So when I was invited to do the um, uh, Picasso uh, exhibition, I really got excited because I didn't know any, anything about Cubism. Mm. And when I took a course a weekend on Cubism, I began to discover that my passion is change the reality of art into something abstract but still real at mm -hmm. the same time because mm -hmm. that's what I think therapy is all about. You help change people wow. from what they are to what they could be. Mm -hmm. And I did my paintings of several uh, acrylics, a canvas, and was quite excited about the ease and the excitement way I could really provide this this art uh, to the public mm. and I'm ready for that. Cool. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> being creative, being creative uh, means to really show everybody, young, old, doesn't matter, that life is purposeful, that it's beautiful and it's not just work and work and earn money and live and eat but it's actually producing from the soul. I'm very much interested in how the spirit, the soul, is expressed in the art. And this is where Picasso spent many, many years hmm. uh, exploring his soul, actually, hmm. by using different media, hmm. and particularly changing uh, women and special faces and I, hmm. them similar things. And it's quite exciting to express that soul, and it seems to be very easy. It happened in my first job in a mental hospital as a young psychologist social worker and I was very afraid of, of that job but I had to do it because uh, government gave me money to study so I had to do the work and uh, I learned that um, a lot of what I've done, I learned to paint a huge canvas. Mm. It was nothing, I didn't think it was art, but I painted abstraction paint, red, black, and then eventually I just left it, and I left the job and went uh, to Toronto from Vancouver, Canada, and discovered when I did Gestalt training, my, my teacher said, well, you were doing art therapy. This is your craziness, your madness that's on canvas, and I was, like a big shock, my goodness, this is really something that I could uh, explore further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Pattern uh, rituals, well, what uh, usually is, is a space, the canvas, the material, the water, the brushes, and you're exploring different uh, style of brushes in different ways. Of course, I look at uh, Picasso and his work and imagine how I would be Picasso oh. and what I could do. <laughs> and so that, are similar. that's <laughs> they say so. <laughs> and so I find that the the um, examples that are, are everywhere now, online everywhere, and my my intuition are get together and I produce something different, mm. something new. For that's not mine, not Picasso but it's mine. Yeah. yeah. Favorite ever created? 
I think <laughs> what I think of it was uh, my uh, surprise. It created a um, um, traffic box. Oh. Uh, I put the traffic box in front of a the uh, valley uh, pub, and I was quite interested in how people who came to the pub were looking at that and saying what they, it means to them. Mm. And to me, that was very interesting. <laughs> Well, first of all, I was invited, <laughs> which is very nice, by the coordinator. <laughs> and uh, the other part was that uh, I felt like I, there was a need for males, for men to be involved, because there's all women, beautiful artists exhibiting everywhere, and I realized, where are the men? Mm. So I'm putting myself and taking a risk. Seven women and one guy, me, is part of that group, and uh, I'm find that I'm well accepted yeah, by everybody. Yeah. yeah. We need a Picasso. <laughs> we need a Picasso. <laughs> Picasso. I feel uh, well. The origins of uh, Spanish origin uh, work in France and Paris a lot. Uh, the days of the uh, civil war in Spain and how he painted Guernica, for example, and how he involved he was. And I can say that I would like to use his spirit, his um, ideas, as inspiration for me mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. I feel that uh, very strongly that Picasso has been a model for me to uh, be an example in sharing um, the passion mm -hmm. with the rest of the world like he did. Mm -hmm. Principal idea? Yes. Well, I can't think of an idea, I can think of a process that uh, projecting my own idea of Picasso is a process of putting it out on canvas and showing it to people and see what they, what they say. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Basically acrylic on canvas, yes, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's what I want to do. Okay. Thank you very much for your time and your participation, <laughs> very important to me. I'm happy to do that. Thank you. <laughs>